Hello and welcome to uh, Plan for Elementary School Part A. And we have two parts to this, Part A, Part B. Uh, I don't think there will be a Part C yet, but we'll get to that. Uh, remember, Lighthouse Education Consultants, everything starts at lighthouseec.com. Um, and you can click on the link below this uh, and see our website. You can get on our email list and do different things. So what are we really talking about, this Plan for Elementary School? Well, this is a way of kind of like mentally preparing yourself and your children to go to school. So we say start with having a plan. Put something in place, put something in place that your kids see on a daily basis, that you see on a daily basis, that they get comfortable with working and doing. So why do you need a plan? Well, school, if you take this mentality, you'll be a little bit better, we believe. So school is the job for kids, and that's what they're doing. They're learning, their job is to acquire as much uh, academic knowledge as they can, succeed, go on to the next level, open more doors uh, that they can. So treat the job like your career. You know, you can't not go, oh, I don't feel good today. Oh, don't worry about school. It's not really a big deal. It is a big deal. They've got to go all the time. They've got to be there. They've got to learn how to deal with the other people in the room. They've got to learn how to study. They've got to learn how to do the work on time. They need to be there. And numerous times we've talked with parents who are like, oh, they can take off for this. We'll schedule a vacation. School's not that big of a deal. Yes, it is. So going to school is very important. But also a part of it is finding help when you need it. And one of the things that we try to get parents to understand is sometimes you're going to have to call a tutor in. Sometimes you're going to have to work extra with the teacher so they can get the material in. And that's okay. That's the part in the process of learning. Hey, I didn't get it this time. I'm going to need a little bit of help. Can you help me, teacher? Yeah, we're going to do it after school from 4 to 5. Well, that might not fit your schedule, but if it's your child's number one and most important thing, then you're going to get it to fit your schedule. Post a plan in a location where you and your child can see it daily. Now, I'm going to give you a couple different options here. Uh, for our son, he's five years old. It's on the refrigerator. It's usually beside whatever his artwork of the day is. And <laughs> we post up there. So he can see exactly what his weekly plan is. And a lot of times his weekly plans fall like this. We usually have t-ball, uh, flag football, basketball, or wrestling, depending on what season we're in. His school traditionally gives homework on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Now, some schools do their homework, whatever. He knows the days he's got to do homework. So we have it written on his plan, you've got to do that. He knows when projects are due. He knows all the due dates because on every Sunday, we sit down with the plan and we look at it and we say, hey, you know what? This is going to happen this week. Let's prepare for it. He knows that he's got a quiz coming up and on some spelling words and he's got to know. So we've been doing flashcards with that. He's loving it. He had to do a reading journal. So every night when we get finished reading, he's got to fill out his journal. And then on Fridays, he takes it back in. If he has read everything he's supposed to, he gets a chance at the treasure chest. So it's things that these kids are, are doing on a daily basis. If you document and track it and you see your plan and they're working towards a plan, you can build a reward system in and start giving the, your children some things for a reason. This is also going to create, you know, what we like to say is a good academic work ethic. When our son comes home, the very first thing he does before he gets into anything else, unless he has to use the bathroom, is he gets his homework done. Now, be mindful, this is homework for a kindergartner right now, but we do this with any any of our students. Sit down. Let's get your homework out of the way. Then you got the rest of the night to do whatever you want. And a lot of times my son, he'll want to play some video games or he'll want to go outside and run or he'll want to go ride his bike. But he knows the first thing he gets home, he's got to sit up at the table, get his sheet out. And let me tell you, his homework is less than 10 minutes. It's usually about five minutes. But it's done, it's out of the way. We know at kindergarten it's not really a big deal, his homework yet, but it's the work ethic that's the big deal on how it's going to spur into these things later on. At fifth grade, he's never going to fight us about homework because we've been plodding along doing it. So he knows, get home, do your homework first, and I got the rest of the night to do whatever. And then again, back to that calendar events for each week. And this is a week alone where we had a, a t-ball practice on Monday night. We had a flag football practice on Thursday night. I was out teaching a class Tuesday night, so he knew I wouldn't be there until a certain time. So him and his mother had a, a planned event that they went off and did. 
And then Friday night, we get to go pick up his uniform. So this whole week has been mapped out, and he knows each day, oh, it's Friday, I get to get my uniform for T-ball. You know, Saturday, we've got a game at 10 o'clock, and we've got a game at noon. And we'll be driving back and forth, and be a little hectic for a couple of hours, but afterwards, you know, the day says free to go run and play. So have a plan in place. Now, thanks for coming by. Like I said, this is part A, so part B is going to look into that plan a little bit more. So definitely go look for part B. Um, with the other Lighthouse products that are available. Please click on the link below and sign up for our email list. With doing that, you're going to get four free webinars, and that's student uh, support, learning styles, uh, what else is in there, brain games and brain dump. And these are all tricks and techniques to help you um, be a better student. And good luck in reaching all your academic goals. See you in part B.